Okay, hello YouTube subscribers. Today I'm going to talk to you about what's been going on with me and kind of a vlog of what's been going on with my life. And this vlog will be a little TMI-ish in a way. So if you're kind of TMI, sorry about the light, I don't know what the heck, why that just got bright all of a sudden. But this video might be a little TMI, meaning I might talk about blood, bodily fluids, odors, things like that. So if you're not into that, I'd suggest you leave when we get to the part. But you can stick around for a little, for this little part. I'll let you know when it's best to leave. Okay, so first we're going to talk about, you know, what's been going on somewhere. So back in October, on the 8th of October, I uploaded a video about me eating candy and stuff. And I think I talked about our dog, but his name was Buddy. This ain't really much TMI, but if you're an emotional person, I wouldn't really watch this part. He ended up with liver and prostate cancer. He was a Shih Tzu. He was 11 years old. And on October 9th, he passed away. He was my mother's dog, and he passed away of cancer, basically. Which we found out, basically, on the... Well, after our trip to North Carolina, which was in August, so that basically was what was going on with him. Then, after that, we got him cremated and stuff. And then after, excuse me, after that I found out, because my dad works on the pipeline. And, as you can see by the shirt, no offense to uh, other college teams out there, but I'm a big Mountaineers fan, you know, blue and gold all the way, baby. Um, he was supposed to go to West Virginia, but unfortunately, his one, the one company did something where previous workers, before he managed to get down there, him and some of the workers working on a job in Pennsylvania managed to get down there, got thrown off that job, so I guess we weren't going to West Virginia, but my dad got laid off from that company anyway, because that company went to hell. Not saying the company or disclosing any big info, but he got work for someone else and is now going, thankfully I found out, we're going back down to West Virginia, which will be going this Monday coming. Okay. And now to get to a more TMI part after the fact that our dog passed away and stuff. So if you watched my pre my other video on Mittens' birthday, you'll know that I found out from the vet that his birthday was that day that I uploaded that video. So go check that out. That was an awesome thing. I made a little cake for him and stuff. It was neat. But anyway, now I'm on to a more TMI thing, kind of, that's been going on with me, which I will talk about things that, you know, isn't really good for some people so if you don't like gross TMI bodily things click out now but anyway it all kind of started in September which I found out which I'm kind of mostly making this video because I found out I have a thing called a pionidal sinus cyst or whatever and there's not really many videos on YouTube about it like Usually most of the videos are scary post-op after surgery videos, but I want to talk about my experience leading up to this point and surgery here, which I haven't had surgery yet, but we'll get to that. It all pretty much started in September. I, I was on my time of the month, as girls normally get. This is mostly a guy thing, the pineidal size thing that I have, by the way, but girls can get it too, although it's more rare. But I was on my time of the month then, and I noticed an odor, because I was also using a feminine product I haven't used in a while, so I thought it had something to do with pH. So I quit using them, that feminine product, and the odor went away. Well, a few weeks later, and like towards the end of September, before our dog died, I had darker urine and stuff, and I went pee and there was blood in my urine and I also had that odor and I also had itching back behind where my tailbone is. It was itching and odor 
And I went pee one morning and there was blood in my urine. And I found out I had a UTI. So I was on medication until about the 1st of October. The odor and the itching went away. So I thought, okay, that's probably because of my urinary tract infection. It went away for a while. Then, like a day after our dog died, I noticed the odor and the itching returned. And it pretty much had remained that way until November it stayed that way and so one day I had my mom look on my rear end about what was going on and she thought that I had a UTI kind of in my upper crack near my spine and she was putting ointment on it antibiotic ointment and a few days later we noticed a little hole like I don't know it's probably about the size of a pencil eraser but there was a hole there and so we had to get me a doctor's appointment to see what's going on. She kind of read up that night about pineal sinuses, which are like, which is like a little hole, kind of like right below your tailbone, but kind of right where your butt crack begins to form. Like pretend my elbow is my butt crack, like right in here of your butt crack where it begins to form. People get them. And she looked it up and told me that, that we didn't f know that's what it was, but we kind of figured because, you know, some of my symptoms matched up to it, the odor and stuff. And so I went to the doctor the next day and found out I had a pineal sinus. So I had to go see a surgeon on the 30th of November. And between that time, which I think I went to the doctor, hold on a second, hold on a second, I can get a paper to tell you the date. I went to the doctor on November 15th to my regular primary care doctor and so I had to get recommended to a surgeon which was November 30th. So between the 15th and the 30th I would occasionally wipe back there where the crack is and I'd notice blood and the odor and stuff. The odor has been quiet lately, it's just mostly been itching. So anyway I go to the surgeon. And I pretty much find out that I have a an infection going on from the I have a pineal sinus. The my regular doctor confirmed that, but this doctor, the surgeon, confirmed that I have that and a minor infection in it. And so he said I'll need surgery, which I scheduled that for December seventeenth here. So I haven't had it yet. At the time that you're, at the time that you're seeing this video, I might already have a post-op video uploaded. So if you're watching this video in the future, then I'll have a post-op video. So I'll have to get surgery. Which if you have what I have, I'm getting a pineal course something sectomy or something like that and it's where they put you to sleep at least my surgeon is some surgeons when you have pineal cysts will, numb, will give you a local anesthetic but depending on the severity of it and your doctor you may get put to sleep which luckily I am although I'm not looking forward to the IV which you also sometimes will have to get blood work before the surgery so I have to get blood work this week coming and you also if you're like me you cannot like seven days prior which I'm not in that window yet so I can still take ibuprofen and Advil and aspirin and stuff like that but seven days prior which for me will be the 10th because the 10th through the 17th is seven days. I can't take ibuprofen or any Advil or aspirin or anything that's a blood thinner. Your doctor will tell you that. I'm also on antibiotics, which I pulled off the label with my name and stuff for the most part. But here's the name of the antibiotic. You might not, you might not get this exact antibiotic if, if your doctor even prescribes you an antibiotic. But here's our reference to one to show you what's happening and also to show you because I want to help people this is, will be about the size of the pill okay so anybody who is diagnosed with those who has a problem swallowing pills what I recommend you do is you put the pill in your mouth and then take a sip of water make sure the water surrounds it or some liquid and take it down at the same time now with this type of antibiotic if you're giving it if you have a pineal cyst or something else you might be giving it for something else 
you want to take it with food and stuff. And trust me, like the first time you take it, like the first pill you take, your body won't be adjusted to it yet, so you might end up feeling real sick for a little bit afterward, even with food. I was. That was just me. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm just telling you. Which, with the pineal sinus, normally people have pain, swelling, le a lot of leaking, foul-smelling odor. Luckily for me, you know, the only pain I mainly have is like a pressure when I sit down. It almost feels like you sat on your tailbone, which is kind of like hitting your funny bone wrong sometimes. But it's mostly, for me, I just manage to get itching, which itching is not a symptom, but I kind of wonder if my body tried to heal at some point because I was on antibiotics in September, the end of September, which the doctor even said that I had this for a while, which I know I did, because it all began in the beginning of September. So I wonder if the antibiotics kind of cleared the infection out and my body's been trying to heal, but ultimately I have to get surgery, which the doctor also said for surgery. Then I'll have to get like a gauze thing, which I'll probably explain more after surgery when I have more. But anyway, what they'll do is I'll take a gauze thing, pretend this is gauze and this is the hole. They'll make the hole bigger than what it is. And what, you, what they'll do is they'll pack it in there until it can't go anymore and the rest of the gauze will be taped down. Because what they don't want to do with when you have a pineal cyst or sinus, they don't want to pack the gauze in there because it's just going to make that channel bigger and risk you getting, getting even more infected. So I have to get surgery. I have to get blood work. That's what's going on with me. So I might not be iffy on YouTube. Like I said too, our dog passed away and stuff. And I wanted to kind of make this video mostly about the pineal sinus to like tell people what I'm going through post pre-op you know because I see a lot of videos post-op so I wanted to make a pre-op video then you know maybe a couple days after my surgery how I'm feeling what will happen when I was in the hospital so you kind of have an idea what to expect and then maybe you know after I'm mostly recovered talk about the recovery process which someday I will make a video too on my wisdom teeth because that was not, that was nothing. I'll tell you, that was absolutely nothing compared to this kind of. So again, this Tuesday coming, I'll have to get blood work, which I scheduled the surgery for the 17th. I could have scheduled it at any time, which you usually can. You can usually schedule it seven days after you meet your surgeon because they want you to be off at aspirin for about seven days. So you could probably schedule it a week after you meet the surgeon to make sure you meet the requirements of being off of blood thinners. Just to give you a heads up. But I scheduled it so late because you know, next week I'll as I said in the blog, be going to West Virginia and I'm going to enjoy my first week down there before, you know, I have to get this surgery because it's going to be a little bit of a recovery the first couple days. But anyway, that's pretty much what I have, what is going on. I will also make, again, another video describing the day of surgery and then recovery, and a third video on recovery and stuff and blogs on a little bit of more updates too just like with this so stay tuned and also now I'm gonna start linking my previous video in the description below too so if you want to watch it which as you can see from from the previous video you'll know I'm at a hotel so because we have to do maintenance on our camper to go to West Virginia I'm not going to disclose where I'm going in West Virginia and stuff as you don't want to put very detailed info out there. You want to put like my info out there on YouTube. But that's pretty much it. Thank you all for watching. I hope this pre-op video of the Pine Idol Cyst and kind of like a little bit of a blog helped you all. And remember to like, subscribe, and comment. And the last previous video, the hotel tour video, will be in the description below. And I'll keep doing that for every video after. Thank you all, and have a nice day. Bye.